So here you want to welcome back to another FG of Thursday. I do hope you have your drinks ready because we're starting off with Edgy Daddy. And me assassin. Oh boy. Uh, I I will say I like Kiritsugu. I mean, um, he's a he's to be honest, a really, really sad character in my opinion. You know, considering you know, after watching Fate Zero and all of that, and you get the kind of image of him as what he is and stands for and what he do and all and he's sad aka and also kind of edgy so yeah uh, I don't know why he got dark skin like this though and white hair I'm not entirely sure why like like why What's up with that, actually? I mean, considering that uh, normally he's like pale with black hair. So I, I don't see why this happened. I guess there's, they will explain that. But I do like his design. It is it is cool, you know. It's like uh, Assassin's Creed, but cooler, I would say. You know? Giving off really the Assassin vibe. I, I dig it. I, I like his design. It is cool. I never actually thought I actually have like a plate armor though. That is, that is pretty solid, I would say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, um, true name Amia, uh, the Far East, Chaotic Evil. I guess it depending on the views. Uh, One seventy five, sixty three kill. Um, I don't know if that is based on who he was in, um, in the anime. Or if this is a take in FGO. Because I wouldn't call him Chaotic Evil. Because Chaotic Evil... Uh, I wouldn't more call him like Chaotic Neutral. Chaotic... Uh, yeah, I think something like that. Chaotic uh, Neutral or possibly Chaotic Good. Because in general, uh, many times he did things in order to protect the whole part, you know. Stuff, even if it's probably not the most, and of course, he did shitty stuff that, like blowing up a building just to get. Uh, uh, so, yeah, that could be considered chaotic evil. Uh, yeah, was there no one else? No, Kojama, no. Uh, may, fa may, main work, fake grand order, but it was a fate zero. Uh, strength D, Constitution C, Agility A+, plus, Magical B, Star. Okay. Luck E, EX. Wait, what? Nani? No, Venus B+, plus, plus. That's lots of Bs. The magic power parameter is C rank in the game profile. Okay. Can't they just up... If, I, I mean, I noticed there is a bunch of these happen that where the... Uh, you know, Shane just... And stuff like that. Then again, I don't know if they literally did change it in the game, you know, uh, because they're like, yeah, you know, and th since it's not easy to change the old material like this that is written, you know, if it's printed already. So I guess that is why. Present concealment A+. plus. When activated, it's almost impossible for the user to be perceived, even if they are servant. However, during the moment of them preparing an attack, the effect will be d drastically diminished. But dude, A+, plus, that is sick, man. Independent action A. It is primarily a distinct skill for the archer class. A skill grant to Mia because he grew accustomed to mobilizing unaided since when he was alive. Even without the magical energy he spread from his mass, it becomes for him to remain Matthias for about a week at most. Damn, still, that is pretty bonkers, man. Magecraft B. Amiya has learned Magecraft. From another angle, because he understands Magecraft, he consequently excels at the method of killing mages. With his skill ranking, by all right, it works as a bonus also check during the moment of doing combat against Caster. Dude, this makes me really just think that I would love an uh, Kiritsugu Caster. Wouldn't that be cool? And he would his abilities would literally be about like fucking over other casters. That would be cool. I think that. Affection of the Holy Grail A+. And he has been deeply loved by the Great Holy Grail itself of some era. Oh. That love is even equivalent to the world's greatest curse. Through the existence of this skill, his luck rank is being flipped up 
to even outside the standard without meeting specific conditions, it is possible for him to even break through the abilities of, e of enemy servants that cannot be typical broken through. However, this good luck is also something that mercilessly steals the happiness of others. Mm. Uh, he himself is not aware of the existence of this skill, and he sometimes does not even hear the voices being whispered to him by the Holy Grail. Damn. That is one kinky Holy Grail, man. Scapegoat, see. A set of craft techniques for one to survive the battlefield. I mean, yeah, I guess. Could say that. A noble fan of Corona Rose. Gather your rose buds while you may. Ooh. Uh, uh, and B, antipersonal. Number of targets. Time flows, and even though the flower smiles into this day, uh, it shall completely wither away. Tomorrow. An ability to manipulate one's own time flow. It is an ability that Mia possesses during a lifetime to use innate time control, time alt as a basis, and it is a technique that has time manipulation. The magic research you transmit down to his family line is reformed for the use of the combat. Yeah, dude, I remember. That is one of the my favorite fucking fate moments was when uh, Kiritsugu fought against uh, Kurei. That will forever be one of my favorite moments. Um, both because I really like Kiritsugu's like magic and like uh, and the gun and all that. And then of course Daddy Kurei being Daddy Kurei. So yeah. And honestly, I would really like a Kiritsugu caster and like an uh, assassin um, Kurei. I think it would be uh, an assassin, possibly can be even even a saber because you know the black keys. I think that would be neat, wouldn't it? You know, and then it could have the unending rivalry. Common uses of this include Amiya's becoming high-speed attacks and movement according to the acceleration of his time flow and court action by stagnating his biorhythm according to the acceleration of his time flow. Due to this power that has been sublimated as a noble phantom, it becomes possible with super consequence attack where when using them, he might as well be called invisible, invincible in anti-personal battles. So, would this literally mean that he actually can outspeed uh, Dante's? Because Dante is moving in like literally like in speed of light, but Emilia is literally change, controlling time. So would that mean that he would actually um, outmaneuver Dante's? I don't think though that uh, he would win in per se because Dante is so fucking bonkers, you know, in general, and all that, and he's so he's even more edgy than. Uh, uh, um, Kiritsugu, well, Amiya, you know? Yeah. Uh, and I, uh, oh, wait, one thing about the hair and the, uh, uh, the hair and the uh, uh, skin and all that, I assume is based because, you know, Amiya, uh, uh, Archer, that was in FGO, well, Fate uh, Unlimited Blade Works, uh, had that color scheme, so I guess that is why. That is the only thing that popped, they randomly pop up to me that I, I forgot that moment, so sorry about that. Phantom's Punishment, Mysterious Bisection, what? C+, plus. Anti-Personal Noble Phantoms, range 0 to 2, target 1, plus. and now that has the power to double attribute of severing and binding, Amiya's own origin, put into it. What? It caused fatal damage to opponent that possess either magic circles, magic crests, or anything similar to those inside their bodies. It is the same knife he has been using for his common time manipulating attacks. Its true ability is invoked according to the true name release. Damn, that sounds scary as fuck. Uh, personality. I mean, he has a few motions, an authentic battle machine. He will definitely kill his target promptly, without hesitation and without losing his way. That state of being is the adolescent Kiritsugi Emiya himself. Speaking of that furthermore, it is close to his mentally immediately following the m moment where he killed his own mentor, Natalia Kaminsky, as the mage killer. Ah, so it's pretty... Yeah, I... I oh, man. I, I'm still happy I got uh, Emilia and I got Ilya. I just need... Um, um, it is Will and I got... I got the entire family. I got Chloe as well, so I guess that counts. So, yeah. A uh, modern attitude towards the master. For Mia, who exists as an agent of the counterforce, he has no personal motives. If anything, the restoration of the human order shall become the purpose of his actions. 
towards the master and may boldly declare that he will be unable to cooperate and it may not be understood that reason he says that is because he's very much do not prefer to be on a united front still in the event that it go deepen their bonds by any chance it seems he will occasionally express different remarks from what he usually speaks if possible yeah that's pretty cool dirty works again just fine with me it's always like that target clear you think that's covered eyes covered eyes how if so it will be your downfall aren't you mistake for me for someone else in the end there is no more than not what i'm capable of an assassin servant for this to be the fate of an alley of justice it's a decent dark joke ah well dark comedy man character image an assassin who materializes as an agent of the counter force ah i guess that is why um because um you know archer counter force and look, looking the same. Emilia is an essentially not an heroic spirit. Although he's an individual who killed many people as an assassin, his existence has not been engraved on the throne of heroes. An imitation heroic spirit referred to as a guardian, and moreover someone who does not exist in the proper human history. This, What if that probably would have been possible, exists not only due to the threat that attempted to destroy human history itself from its very foundation. In the Grand Order case alone, um, as a result of the Ainsman family not adopting the strategy of hiring an outside master, Mia did not meet with his wife who was bound to meet, consequently neither separate from said wife, nor did he suffer discouragement that would come because of that separation. As a consequence, that, that heart of steel remained as steel, and, and before one would know it, his emotion completely withered away as well, thus his soul was called out of the ring of deterrence. Yeah, honestly, it's pretty messed up, man. I, f I feel bad for him. So yeah, so we have this ultra no emotion guy at all here, and that is that's sad. That's sad. Connection to other characters. It is with Ains Ben's homunculus. She's supposed to be an unfamiliar companion, and just just why do I even guess my gaze find itself drawn to her like this? No, my... and it's like his final sentient art that always makes me like a little bit sad. Uh, and me, Archer, Ilyasville. When I'm near them, I have complicated feelings. I don't get the reason why. Jagger, man. She always looked like this way so strangely, but still, what is it? Yay! Tiger's mention! Artoria, that's right. You too. Deermood, no. You're easy to understand. Lord El Malloy, you. I don't understand. <laughs> like, literally, he's like, I don't, what is this? I don't understand. You too. I don't know. <laughs> very simple. He is very confused, little man. <laughs> oh god but yeah i do feel really sad about it in general because he sees man i would love to see them connect you know i want to see him like going there with Sh uh, shira archer amiga uh iliasville uh taiga uh, irisville Ator you know I, I would love that damn it that is why i would love like an older kiritsugu that um you know that have more of these not locked away his emotion the same way, you know? I received an assignment with the fundamental lines of a red hood and tan skin to go in direction making people mistake his identity for Amelia Archer. Huh. And it resulted in his appearance. While Amelia still has a hero's charm that is a little like in the olden days, it would have been nice if I pr produced something that gives off a sort of prototype impression, you know? Although I did intend on drawing him a bit younger rather than drawing his appearance in his prime, that has no prime led by his acquaintance, I wonder if I made his substance not quite completely yet. Uh, yet, too, as he's surely identical to his prime appearance, or something like that, but as expected. There was an immense pressure put on me. Of that, I wonder if I can do this and that successfully to capture different nuances of his face in the anime version, uh, Mr. Takushi's version, etc. And although I would not think about this matter be thoughtlessly over ambition, uh, I thought too hard about it, became frightened and faint and in agony afterwards. Akira. But man, yeah, seriously, I, I do feel like he doesn't have much information here, man. I wish they could, they could have built more on that. I'm just saying. Uh, oh, Potato Rian says something as well. Let's see, what do you say? Uh, man, I was listening to some sad also while reading this. His connection to our character and all could feel what. What sadness? Yeah, man. True, true, true. Really can't get a break. Carrie can't, nope. 
He's alone, yet not alone in Chaldea. Anyway, I wish some of his animations were a bit flash at times. I love his buster animation, gunning down the enemy. But other than that, his knife animation are kind of bland. Is it, is it just my impression or does he also suffer from Big Head Syndrome? I need someone to confirm this. Man, I haven't checked that, but I, I did literally s mention that in one of the videos. Because um, I noticed, who fuck was it? Someone that had a really big head compared to the body and compared to like Moriarty, I was like, that looks so fucking weird. And I think that is most many older servants seem to have that problem. And of course, they need to like, uh, when I assume when they do the animations update that they, you know, make the designs a little bit more like reasonable, you know. And sorry again for forgetting first last week, just counting this is me taking a break. I only noticed that it was first when the day was almost over. If I want to put the window in my dungeon room, I would be able to tell time. Alright, 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 no windows for you. I love carry between his uh, finance and content and get it. It's content. Ah! To my top. Ah, oh, damn you bastard. Don't make fun of that. But yeah, he, his final ascension is good. I like it. And it is sad. Like, god damn it. There is a love is reaching for everything. But yeah, I do I do like um, uh, Carrie. I do like uh, our Amiya boy here. He's cool design. And hopefully, uh, as many other servants, he do need an animation update and stuff like that. Definitely. So I hope we get that. And um, I would love to see him in the game actually a bit more because I don't remember where have we seen him? Have he even been active in the game per se? Like in any, um, in any kind of like, uh, what do you call it? In any singularity or anything like that? I f if he, was he even in? I think he was in in, so, in one event. I think. But other than that, we literally haven't seen the, the even the slightest shade of him. Which I guess makes sense, considering he's an assassin and supposed not to be seen. But still, you know, I, I would love to see more of him in the game. I hope we do. And I, as I said, I would love like an uh, older version of Kiritsugu that is maybe, as I said, caster that can reunite with his loved ones. I would love that. I would fucking love that. But man, that's Kerry. Kerry's a good servant. I like him. Um, I'm happy I do have him. And next one is 100 Face Hassan. Ooh, I like this one. Hassan of the 100 Persona sides. Asako, purple-haired woman. And I got cut from moves. He could become the ways they did. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, I would say right away, I, I do like 100 Face Hassan. And even if when looking at her design, well, her body is very controlled. But then again, that is something that is very occurring with like most um, Hassans. Like uh, you have Curse Bro almost also having these kind of like almost physical deformations. Well, obviously his arm is, but you know, in general, they are. Except Serenity, that is literally like adorable, cute, you know. And I will say, I do like Persona and they're like, damn, solid body there, like, my god. And that reminds me, I would love to see more Hassans, because I know there are many more Hassans, where they're like 12. And I would like to see, I mean, maybe not all of them, probably won't get, but I wouldn't mind that. But I would love to see, and um, yeah, 100 Persona, I, I like her. Well... I probably should not say her, but they, because, you know, there are many. Hundred. Um, assassin, Hassan, Isaba, depend on the individual, Islam, old man of the mountain, Middle East, lawful evil. Yeah, everything different there. Uh, strength C, endurance D, agility A, mana C, luck E, NP B. Man, what is up with every so many characters have luck E? I feel bad for them. Scenario um, Nasu Kinoko Robochi Yen Origin Katakeuji Abe Akina also voice no one else. Oh man, dude, both uh, Emilia and uh, well Kurtsuga and Hundred uh, Persona get the no one no one else voice treatment. In a way, doesn't that make them very unique? I will say. Um, it's classical present because him A plus damn. Sir Sir Sevilla's present Sir Sir. sir, sir so, 
serves severs presence serves is it is it something spelled wrong there because my brain literally severs presence a servant because that doesn't make sense to me. I, I, I'm, I might be dumb. I might have a stroke. Whatever. Fuck that. Suitable for covert action is a nearly impossible discovery if the president is completely cut off. However, the rank of president concealment falls greatly when adopting preparation for attack. Yeah. And A+. Plus, yeah, damn, that's, that's, that's good stuff, man. Uh, li uh, personal skill. Librarian of stored knowledge. C. Distribute processing of memory through multiple personalities. But passing a luck check, a knowledge received in the past can definitely be reproduced in memory, even if, even if it was unknown. Oh yeah, luck check. Yes, the gr their best freaking stat. Fantastic. <laughs> um, expert on many specialization, A plus. Proper use of professional skills by arbitrarily switching between multiple personalities. Tactics, scholarship, espionage, assassination, swindling, rhetoric, and other 32 types of specialities in total can be demonstrated with provision of B rank or above. And they got A+. Plus? Yikes. Dude, why is she just... A well, she... I, I, I will say she because, you know, uh, the main f images of the... Uh, you know. Uh, but, dude, with skills like this, I, would, I could easily see like a 5 star because, you know... Damn. Uh, where the hell is battle retreat first? Uh, well, <laughs> you, I guess the skill retreated. <laughs> I guess that. I guess that would happen. Uh, Novel Fathoms, Sabanilla, Delusional Illusion. Delusional Illusion? That's some funky. Um, Sabanilla, a Novel Fathoms that built origin from the multiple personalities they had during life. A division of the spiritual potential is performed along with a division of the multiple personalities and makes it possible to act as a different individual. Up to eight bodies, plus there is a possibility of the appearance of an, un of an unconscious ego. Oh my! Since the bodies exist uh, responding to each personality, the appearance varies from elders to youngs to men and women, giant builds and small statures. But it seems that the race is fixed. Confirmed names are Side, uh, the Base, Makul, the Quick, Gosul, the Remarkable. Since they split themselves, the total power remains the same no matter how much the number of, of individuals increases. Therefore, the more they divide, the lower they build of the individual. But only the characteristic skill of the class of the assassin, prison consumer, doesn't decline. And by making maximum use of this, they become an excellent information organizer and collector. Yeah, that's... that's. I still remember watching uh, uh, Fate Zero and... Uh, I was fooled when I thought that, oh nay, they already killed assassin. And it was just one of like 93, no, 80 plus, so to speak. Each of the divided individuals is respectfully established as a different entity. If one of the divided individuals dies, that individual doesn't return to the entirety of the assassin, but it becomes eliminated. There is no superior that can be called real form, so it's not like the birth, birthing inferior of shots. All the are existent of the same rank. Also, it's not like they are connected by some like is something like telepathy, so they don't communicate by any means like conversation, they can't share information they they have. Okay, honestly, I do really like the, uh, their ability, kind of crazy. And of course, I mean, I can understand that they use a base and all of that because you know, 80 different, uh, yeah, and Probably a bit too much, but I would love to see an a, a animation updates. She also really, really needs it because her attacks are so bland. I is a reason I honestly been thinking of grailing her, but I'm getting you know, um, I, 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 I every time I see your battle animation, I believe, like, oh man, they are so oh, you know. So I and then again, it's the same with Darius. The only reason I started with that was because, you know, fuck, people say he's bad. I gotta sh prove you wrong. He's still not very great, but... And I do hope he get an animation update as well. My god, they they all need that. But, you know, instead, they're pushing for more, like, sacrifice or something like that. Who cares about old servants? <laughs> we do! Personality. Through many diverse technical skills and abundant knowledge, as well as a wondrous spirituality whose edge can't be predicted by anyone... They have been feared as hundred faces. But the truth is they, they are persons who suffer from mental disorder nowadays known as multiple personalities. 
By the process of being summoned as a spiritual body and existing in the current world as a servant, they fulfill a separate materialization to all the disrupted souls. However, since by nature their spiritual potential is in the end of one person's work and the ability of the separate individual assassin are extremely low, they only have the power of the lowest level to operate as servants. Since they have a great number of personalities, they can't be unconditionally put in order. Diverse flaws, strength, and weakness can be found depending on the personality. For that reason, inside there are personalities like idiots that eager for merits, ignore the master's order in recognition mission, clumsy girls that easily fail at assassination, or pains in the neck. That's that's something. I I could see that. That would be fun to see. Uh, by understanding all personality they are serving, they can become a tremendous threat in case operating systematically think of the right person in the right place. But if the master doesn't still intend to aim for victory so far, a waste of talent is inevitable. Yeah, dude. Imagine, imagine if you had, imagine if you had like a master that is like um, uh, Han Xing or uh, uh, Su Liang or uh, Shen Gong or something like. You know, a master strategist. If they were like having a servant like hundred persona, how fucking dangerous that would be, because they had suddenly instead of one servant as normally you would have like. 80 plus and all different skill sets and all that that you can utilize even if they by doing that of of course become weak but with the right strategies and stuff like that you can uh, cause a lot of damage you know and I, I would love to see that because that was literally the sad thing with 100 persona fate series was literally like oh yeah uh, first one died and we got a little bit tricked there but it, it revealed there are many more and then uh, Iskander is like literally like I will eat three <laughs> ran over him which is sad I do, I like I love Iskander he's my good boy man but I also feel bad for 100 persona man that's that, that's that's sad dude they just got crushed and they are assassin against riders it does then again, it's gonna do so much damage. So, like a, a normal level 70, 100 persona would get crushed instantly, anyways. So, yeah. Uh, motivation attitude was massive. The dearest wish toward it, the whole grade is an integration, perfect personality. Basically, all members, all personnel will obey the mass order, but in case that the mass order will actually decide to keep the whole grade away, they prioritize their own wish, even if they have to overwhelm their master. Dude, dude, I would love to see this actually. Wouldn't that be c cool to see, like one integrated perfect personality com uh, combined by all of these uh, hundred personas? You know, that would be awesome. Dude, please, DV, make that a five star servant assassin. I would love that. I would really love that. Actually, that would be amazing to see. Uh, yeah. That would be cool. Uh, dialogue example, although it's not a great impact, a loss still is a loss. It's something like like lacking a finger, so to speak. I don't want to think of it as a vain sacrifice. We are a group and one. One and a group. We are legion. Uh, pine, plume, blossom, cherry blossom, wister wisteria, iris, cattail, phoenix among paulonia, bosom to the moon, mirishino, akaira, pig, deer and butterfly. Honey? And these are all Hanafuda terms. From what I found, Phoenix among Paloni is a combination of cards and pig and deer. Oh! Why does she speak in with Hanafuda? I'm the fastest son that memorized Hanafuda from among the Hassan of the Hundred Faces, Asako. Damn. Uh, historical depiction, appearance, same as Hassan of the Cursed Arm, one of the generation of Hassan is Sabah that succeeded the name of Old Man of the Mountain. And I'm pretty certain that Hassan that didn't undergo physical remodeling by making fairable use of the multiple personalities or they suffer, they were active as an assassin of the unknown identity. Yeah. Uh, scenario in Fate Go, uh, present chapter 6, although an assassin assumed the position of commanding one of the village of the mountain people in order to recapture the Holy Land. Uh, despite the encounter with the protagonist being of the worst kind, the race comes out after several battles. Since then, they fight together until end, despite their complaints about how dissatisfied they are with the protagonist. And then they made uh, they got the miserable color for. Uh, yeah, dude, that is. Dude. 
they cutting out hundred. I, 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 I will say I honestly hate that. I think that is sad as fuck. She didn't have a big. She did, she barely appeared in uh, Camelot, and they couldn't even take time. But then again, I guess I'm not surprised because we had Babylonia, and we had Taiga, and we even didn't get to see for one fucking frame. Her Yakuza style Taiga, you know? So, is it something I know about the light? I mean, I loved, uh, you know, um, UFO Table and all that, uh, whatever studio that I'm working with. Their animations are often godlike, they are amazing. But also, they are sometimes you really question, like, what the fuck, bro? Like, why do you cut out stuff like that? And I mean, if anyone says like Babylonia, like yeah, but you know, a Yakuza Taiga wouldn't fit the, the, the you know, the, uh, with the, um, you know, with everything else, you know, like motive, well, design, so to speak, you know, with the clothes because you know, modern. But she's literally running around in one in a onesie, so that wouldn't work either because that, yeah, I forgot in the ancient Babylonia Meso Mesopotamia they did run around in onesies of tigers. Well, Jaguars, so to speak. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, honestly, I, I think that is that is a travesty. That they cut out. Like, yeah. She barely appeared. They could at least... Uh, now I haven't seen the movie yet. I haven't seen the trailer. But it seems like they do cut her out. And honestly, that is that is just really, really sad. I hate that. <laughs> Appears in Faith Zero. Since the beginning, the Master Code Mini Kurei devoted himself to support the role of Tosaka Tokiomi. Of the deceptive maneuver in which one of the personnel was quickly defeated by Gilgamesh. They were used as scouts to explore the camp. But as some themselves seem to be dissatisfied by their master and not intend to obtain the Holy Grail. Oh yeah, that's true. Great. So yeah, Kray. And of course Kray. Not the uh, brainiac, so to speak. Not that he's dumb, but he's not a strategy uh, like strategy mastermind really. Uh, so to say. So yeah. Uh, related characters, Hassan of the Cursed Arm, a very average Hassan, so I'm not irritated. A good guy. <laughs> ah, he's average. Uh, so I'm I'm okay with that. Hassan is I don't like her personality, but her skills is suited for assassination. It makes me jealous. A good person as as it is. Yeah. Hassan of... Huh? Is that a... Gramps? you damn genius. But this is a reference to Fate Strain Fake Hassan. Ah! I, since I, I don't know who that is or anything like that, so oh yeah, there's old man on mountain. Uh, so yeah, I, I man, I'm curious who that is. Oh man, I'm gonna see who who is that. It's kind of you shouldn't serve this kind of human. I mean, Weaver is nice, but uh, yeah, old man of the mountain, a person I don't want to encounter if possible. When a great achievement is accomplished and there ain't, aren't any regrets to leave, he always appears and I always want to put an end. When the death bell tolls. Uh, comments from the Illustrator. The fascinating, charming, strong, active Hasako and her friends. They are one person and the one person actually. When I ask, doesn't she have no face? I received that's well, romance. <laughs> Does she not have a face? Uh, romance. Okay. As an answer, so I am for Middle East and beauty with sharp eyes and full lips. Abs, abs. <laughs> also, I like how her standing pose gives a somewhat unusual feeling. The biggest trouble was accepting to draw a lot of sound in the background, but there isn't much to see. Abs, abs. And, yeah. Uh, potato. I actually find a sako. I like it. I, ca I call her that now. Uh, Lama. True. Honestly, that is that is pretty cool. Hasako. We, uh, we should probably go there. Um, I find it quite beautiful, cute, although her posing in the art is disturbs me. Um, her final is beautiful too. I think she suffered with the same problem as Carrie. Her personal concept shows in an attack, but they are slow as fucking really boring. Yeah, true, really boring. Her MP is also quite boring, which they gave her better pose in Battle Sprite. Have I said I want more sun in the game already? Same, I want that probably. I suppose you know that I'm sold that they cut her out from the movie. Same, fuck me, I hate that. If they're gonna cut stuff, just make it animal already. Wait, angry. Um, yeah. I say, as I said, I like Hassan, um, uh, Hasako, as I guess we could say. And um, 
I am sad they cut her out of Camelot. I think that is really, really, really sad to do that, honestly, because I think she's a, a character that they could really do so much more with. And I do agree, her pose, like here, is it is kind of disturbing. But I honestly think that is what makes it her interesting and looking uh, cool, so to say, because you're getting this, like, um, body dysf uh, dysform uh, dysphoria, like... Uh, most Hassan seem to have, so like because they mo they adapt their um, lives and very beings for you know being the old man of the mountain and stuff like that. So I think that actually worked well, and and her final ascension is is very pretty, that for sure. It's just sad that they really don't do more with her as um, well Hasako and rest of the persona, so to speak. Because I, I, I would love to see that. But yeah, I hope to see more of her around in the game. We we'll love that. And uh, yeah, that is uh, FGO first day today. Thank you once again, Potato. And I do hope that I heard, considering that you literally fell and like became a mashed potato on the, in, on the ground, I do hope you are taking care of yourself today. And uh, yeah, that was Amiya uh, Assassin and um, 100 Persona. Two characters I do really like. I just hope they get some more love in the game. I really hope so. And well, uh, I will be back with more FGO later on. So thank you for watching. See you later. And have a continuous super great day.